While former President Donald Trump says he plans to wait until around the Republican National Convention to announce his vice presidential pick, extending the mystery and the jockeying amongst his allies for as long as possible, independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. announced months ago that his running mate would be Nicole Shanahan, a Silicon Valley philanthropist. Now new reporting by NBC News is shedding light on a woman who is in some ways an unorthodox pick with no political experience of her own. But she does have much needed cash for the campaign and evolving political views that bring her in line with a candidate who rejects institutions and elevates conspiracy theories, including about vaccines. And joining me now is the reporter behind the piece, NBC's Brandy Zadrozny. Brandy, it's so good to have you here. And um, Shannon was a longtime Democratic donor, so take us through her path to becoming the independent candidate's VP pick. Yeah, it's a really interesting transition, and one I've actually seen quite a bit on this sort of fringe beat. But April 2020 is a really important date in Nicole Shanahan's life. April 2020 was when she got a diagnosis of autism for her child. Mm -hmm. And her child was about 18 months. And that autism diagnosis really sent her down sort of a rabbit hole. She had invested in different research um, about uh, fertility, longevity, stuff like that. But autism really just got her into this rabbit hole. So she started looking for um, fringe researchers and she found one named Dr. Jack Cruz. He um, has really wild ideas about the sun and its healing powers and um, blue light from computers. And he sort of made her believe that the vaccine um, caused, vaccines caused this autism. And so then Shanahan went on this quest to heal her own daughter and to heal all the other autistic kids. And that brought her to Kennedy. And um, then she ended up joining the campaign, definitely because of the thing that you just mentioned, which is you know, her millions and millions of dollars. You know, Brandy, you've been covering this a long time. So how common is the wellness to conspiracy pipeline? Is this new or just amplified since COVID? Well, the wellness to conspiracy theory pipeline is a very short one because mm -hmm. wellness influencers and entrepreneurs really um, they see the distrust in normal institutions you know you can't trust your doctor you can't trust the government to help you you have to buy my products or you have to donate to my patreon and I'll give you this secret information that's always been a cornerstone what's new and what COVID did was really bring in right-wingers to this mm -hmm. sort of idea of anti-vax and distrust in these sort of institutions that has become a new marriage and that's where RFK and now Nicole Shanahan find themselves. So what does she bring to the campaign beyond their cash? Well, I think we can pause for a minute because the cash is the big thing, right? Mm -hmm. She's now donated $10 million of her own money to um, to the campaign and even more to a super PAC um, that's supporting Kennedy. So that is the big thing. I mean, what she also does is she sort of speaks to the audience and speaks their language. I went to a recent rally in Austin where she gave her first stump speech and she talked at length about soil and the evils of big pharma and big ag and big tech. And so she sort of speaks their language. So so that, I mean, she does speak to a crowd and they, the people that I talked to didn't know her before and loved her after. Whether she's pulling in new voters, that's that's a question. Yeah, and that, that is, you know, the, the main question, right? You know, Kennedy's only on the ballot so far in six states, but the polls do show he could pull in some more votes. So to that point that you were just making, how much will awareness of Kennedy or awareness of Shanahan influence who those votes are pulled from? I think it will pump up their existing fan base. But again, polls show and the people that I speak to that don't know Kennedy well, but are sort of wading in the Kennedy waters and thinking about a possible vote for him, thinking about possible support. Most people do not know this stuff about Kennedy, do not know his decades of anti-vaccine um, rhetoric and propaganda. And he has built the largest anti-vaccine organization on the planet, the most well-funded, his group Children's Health Defense that he's taken to leave from to run for president. But that's still very much there. All the people working for his campaign are people from CHD and from these fringe pieces. So the fringe, I think, will get stronger and more dedicated to him. But as people, you know, normal folks <laughs> start to listen to what he's saying and what Shanahan is saying, I think there will be some issue there. All right. Brandy Zadrozny, thank you so much for joining us. We're, we really appreciate it.
Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.